All right, YouTube. Time to take a look in my first ever brackish tank. So the substrate is crushed coral and aragonite. And then there's also some larger aragonite and shell and all that stuff on the front and just kind of scattered everywhere. The rock is, I believe it's called lace rock. I, I'm not sure if it's like a type of lava rock or not, but it's a really nice sharp porous rock. Uh kind of has that salt watery look to it um though it's not the actual like normal salt water rock that you see and that's just some java fern and that little bitty thing right there is actually trident fern that i pulled off of some of my other trident ferns and other tanks so i do want to eventually add some more plants to it probably some more java fern, some more of the trident fern, and uh, I don't know, I'm thinking about some other plants that work in a brackish environment. So being brackish, um, my specific gravity is 1.00 eight, I believe. Um, I'd have to double check that again, um, but it should be just perfect for a figure eight puffer, which is what I'm going to put in here. I've always wanted a little puffer fish, and most of the ones that I've seen around me are being sold as freshwater puffers, though they are actually brackish water, um... But yeah, I set up some little caves and stuff. It, all this is is just two rocks. Um, I just found some really cool shaped rocks at one of my local pet uh, fish stores. Tropical World Pets. They're freaking awesome. The only like local fish store I have near me, that, as far as I know, that's not like really centered towards a bunch of other pets they do have some lizards and some frogs and things like that there but when you walk into the store it's very obvious that it's a fish store um but most of the other pet stores petco pet smart pet supplies plus where i work all the different things like they're pet stores not local fish stores but, yeah, they got a lot of great aquascaping things at Tropical World Pets. It's a great place. They got a lot of different fishing options. So if you're ever in the St. Louis, Missouri area, definitely check it out. They've made a lot of awesome adjustments and things recently as well. But, yeah, it's a pretty simple tank. I'm going, I, with being brackish and the figure eight puffers being from the, uh, the brackish streams of Asia, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure where in Asia, but I'm just saying Asia, uh, hopefully I don't offend anybody with that, um, I'm going for that, like, almost saltwater look with, you know, plants versus, like, corals and things like that. So, I'm just going to see how this works, and if, you know, this ends up working out really good for me, I can actually maintain salinity well, and I don't just have a bunch of serious problems as my first, like, semi-salt water tank. I'm going to go ahead and give true salt water a try. I'm a little nervous about it, and I think salt water is just generally a little overrated with what you can do with fresh water. I, I love fresh water tanks, but I have always wanted a little puffer fish, so I'm going to give it a try. Anyway, thanks YouTube, 
if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and, you know, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up or you can even give it a thumbs down if you think that I'm doing this completely wrong and you just want, you know, to be mean to me. Go ahead. That's fine. Uh, thanks. I'll see you guys on my next video.